I'll measure out the mortise on the edge of the breadboard so that it's exactly in the center and mark the joint. I'll clamp the breadboard to the table and use a half inch drill bit marked with tape to the appropriate depth. Then I'll use a drill block to line up the cut and remove material from the end of the mortise joint. This is to make it easier to remove material left from the curvature of the table saw dado blade. Using painter's tape, I'm marking the edges of the mortise joint on the breadboard so that I can line them up with, on the table saw. We'll be cutting the edges off the tenon with a coping saw so that the joint is hidden. You can see where I've marked the in and out points of the dado blade on the table saw with painter's tape. I've measured the fence so that the blade is precisely lined up to cut the mortise joint in, a, in the exact center of the breadboard edge and I'll begin making multiple passes with the dado blade. I'll make multiple cuts, gradually raising the dado blade height about a quarter of an inch each time until the cuts are just slightly over one and three quarters of an inch, which is the length of the tenon. I'll take a final measurement of the depth of the mortise joint and raise my blade just a bit for the final pass uh, of this cut. Here's the final cut mortise on the breadboard end. Using a chisel and a drill, I'll clean out the material at each end of the mortise joint. Note that I previously used a coping saw to remove about one and a half inches of the tenon from each edge, which I forgot to film, uh, so that the joint will be hidden.